Mitch forgot to lock his hub. The old iron. All right, so today uh, we have a little comparison test. We have um, three vehicles representing three decades. We have uh, 1987 Jeep CJ7 with the Laredo package, which was just a appearance package mostly. Uh, we have 1997, uh, I'm sorry, 1996 uh, Tierra Land Cruiser. Um, and I th in the previous video I kind of described it. It has factory lockers uh, and uh, three inch suspension lift. Jeep has a three inch or a four inch, I don't remember, I installed it back in the early 90s, uh, but uh, it has a lift kit there by Skyjacker. I, if I remember correctly, it was either three and a half inch or four inch lift. And then we have 2008 um, Hummer H3 with adventure package, which came with uh, rear locker, uh, 456 gears, and uh, and the rest of it is just the add-ons, like a roof basket and uh, uh, the winch bar and things like that. Some underbody protection. Toyota is running uh, stock gears, uh, 410s with 35-inch tires. Uh, Jeep sits on 31-inch tire. Um, those are super swampers. Uh, Land, uh, Land Cruiser has uh, BF Good, Goodrich KM, uh, KM2s. And Hummer has, uh, what does it have? Toyos, I think, uh, all-terrain tires. Uh, so, um, and uh, it's all stock height uh, and stock suspension. In the front, uh, Hummer uh, has uh, torsion bar bars cranked up probably about an inch or so. Uh, so there's no modification to the suspension. There. So to, to the suspension, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do today to um, to see the difference difference between different generations, different, uh, and of course, Hummer has independent front suspension, but it does have a rear locker. Toyota is probably in the best position of right now. It has both solid axles, and uh, it has uh, it's locked up both front and rear. And the Jeep is uh, in uh, the most predicament. Uh, in this test because uh, it's all it's open all around uh, but of course uh, it's uh, it's also the axle so um, articulation uh, shouldn't be a problem that uh, skyjacker suspension is pretty pliable so it should do all okay but what we're gonna do is uh, we'll attempt to climb this hill here um, it's pretty steep and it's all loose uh, mostly sand and we'll see how each of them will do and how uh, they will be able to climb. So let's get on with it.
that was fast. No, he he doesn't have any traction aids. He doesn't have uh, cruise. I mean, uh, what am I talking about? He doesn't have uh, lockers or anything. Not even a limited slip. It's all open differential, which doesn't tell you much. Mitch. Mitch forgot to lock his hub, so he's in two-wheel drive. Well, the good thing is he made it all the way out here without, uh, um, within two-wheel drive. There we go. That's much better. Pretty impressive for the for the old iron. No lockers or anything. Just keeps humming along. Little wheel spin here and there, but overall, it's still got it. See if he's gonna keep trying or he's gonna pick a different line. Okay, got a little bit, got a little bit more boom behind it and lock him out, Mitch. Bad timing. He can make it, come on. I guess not. All right. Maybe next time. I'll have to give him a couple of pointers, huh, Cap? Because he would have made it if he would just uh, timed it perfectly. He would start accelerating a little bit too late and I just didn't have enough momentum.
Summer has to take Jeep's route now. Only Cruiser was able to make it. So, uh, the conclusion. In this little test, um, well, let's make a couple of excuses for the Hummer. First, uh, the all-terrain tires, I don't really think they help. On the sandstorm, they should be all right, but in all that uh, loose sand, I think, uh, at least I always pr prefer to be on the mud terrains. But the biggest drawback uh, for the Hummer is where even Jeep with open differentials didn't encounter much of a problem was the fact that uh, Hummer is, uh, doesn't have any lift so it, it is uh, the reason at the end he just couldn't make it up that rock was um, because uh, it got the, the spring, the rear spring hanger was hanging up on the rock and uh, I mean uh, once all that weight is uh, against the rock. I mean, it doesn't matter how much grip you have, you're not going anywhere. But um, overall, all of them have its advantages, disadvantages. Jeep, of course, very simple to fix, very simple to maintain, inexpensive. Day-to-day um, -day living, if you are uh, 18 like my son, you can put up with it. I'm getting too old for all that uh, rattling and, uh, and uh, bumpy ride. Um, I guess I'm uh, um, getting uh, weak in my old age and uh, um, need a little bit more comfort. So I, I think initially when I was uh, thinking of replacing Hammer, like I said in my uh, introduction video for, to the to, to Toyota, I just uh, couldn't afford to break uh, the Hammer in the places that I'm, I, I was taking it to and I was contemplating different things. I was thinking maybe getting a old uh, pickup truck and fix it up and uh, lock it up and, and use that but because in the mountains uh, width is at the premium and what I mean by that is uh, a lot of places you uh, the, the full-size pickup truck is just uh, gets really tricky to get around because some of the trails are overgrown and the trees are uh, spaced in close together and uh, after I was considering getting a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee with later models with the V8 and then uh, but there is a whole different story um, the axles that come on those Jeeps uh, even with the 33 inch tires uh, it, will, it will be just a matter of time before I would probably break it so uh, kind of almost actually I bid it on one of the Jeeps uh, of the eBay I think it was 2003 uh, Grand Cherokee with the V8, but uh, I eventually end up in Toyota camp and I don't have any regrets because it's uh, almost as comfortable uh, and the difference is almost negligible comparing to, to Hummer um, on the highway. And off-road, um, sure it, it has a, a lift and uh, uh, and it's, I mean, clearance is, is always uh, at the premium unless you're just ru running the fire roads. Uh, so, bottom line is, they all good, they all made it up on the top. And uh, I'm not definitely not a, a brand fanatic one way or another. I mean, here's representation, a Jeep, Toyota, a Hummer. But uh, like I said, all of them have is advantages and uh, disadvantages and uh, but uh, as for my daily driver and my uh, trail rig Toyota at the end of the day I, I think it was pretty uh, pretty good uh, decision to to go with it of course it still needs some work before I get uh, uh, really tough trails that bumper will have to be uh, removed and uh, a little bit a tougher bumper put in uh, but overall it's uh, it's almost ready almost there so we'll uh, be posting more videos and uh, uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time